So students, today we are going to discuss another new chapter that is Animal Kingdom. And so we know that the animals, basic characters of animals, uh, what the, they are, like the cell structure, if we go on for the cell structure, they don't have any cell wall, they don't have any chloroplast or chlorophyll and they have what they have they have um, centrosome which the plants do not have and lysosome etc these are present in animals which the plants do not have and they are heterotrophic mostly holozoic and that means they take in the food and um, ingest the food and uh, they are motile mostly most of them are motile except very few and they have a very definite growth pattern so these are the general characters of animals now today mainly we will focus on what are the basis for the classification of animals we know that animals are classified to various phylum and then order and all so what is the basis of this classification that will be our main focus today so the basis of classification are body organization body symmetry then body plan clear body organization body symmetry body plan then body cavity then segmentation way of segmentation and then the presence of notochord here, all these are the basics on which the animals are mainly classified. So let us now look at one by one in detail. So first of all, it is the body organization. Clear? So first of all, we will discuss about the body, different level of body organization. Now, what are the different level of body organization? It may be cellular. That means only some aggregation of cells, division of labor, exist in a very faint manner clear only the cells have aggregated clear what we find in the sponges that is phylum porifera only the cells aggregated with very minimal division of labor next is the tissue level of organization where the cells have specialized functions and this group of special uh, cells with specialized functions are forming tissues so to some extent uh, division of labor is there as the specialization in function is there clear and this we find in this tissue level of organization we find in the swellentrata clear tenophora so there we find the swellentrata tenophora there we find the tissue level of organization next the is the organ level of organization that means now these tissues have grouped together for a particular function clear forming an organ so these tissues are now have been grouped together for a particular function performing a particular function clear and this is now called organ so this organ organ level of organization is present in the platyhelminthes clear very the platyhelminthes they have the first organ level of organization and next is the organ system level of organization where different organs are grouped together to perform a particular physiological function here different organs are grouped together performing a particular physiological function that is called organ system of organ level of organization which we find from the Ascalmenthes to cortex. So this we find in the organ system level of organization like digestive system, excretory system, nervous system, clear uh, the respiratory system. So likewise various physiological functions are there for which there are certain organ systems clear in these organisms. And so this organ system level of organization is found in right from Ascalmenthes to cortex. Now, another thing is also there that organ system level of organization 
is present from Ascalmenthes to Cordes, but it is not that the all, all the systems are same in all of them. Clear, likewise, you can see the digestive system. In digestive system, there are two types of digestive system. One is the incomplete digestive system, other is the complete digestive system. If we go on for the platyal menthes, what we will find? What we will find that they have a common opening which is acting for both mouth and anus. So, what from where the opening from which they are taking in food, that particular that opening they are using for removal of the waste. So, this type of digestive system with a single opening, clear, performing both as acting as mouth and anus is called incomplete digestive system, which we find in platyhelminthus. But in nematelmenthes from ascalmenthes or nematelmenthes to cordates, we find complete digestive system where there is two separate opening outside the body. One is the mouth and other is the anus. Clear? So it is a complete digestive system with two opening. One is the mouth and other is the anus. One for taking in food and other for removal of waste. So, this type of digestive system is called complete digestive system, which we find in Ascalmenthes to various cordex, till cordex. Now, another important physiological system which will go on is the circulatory system. Now, in organ system level of organization, circulatory system is also of two types. One is open circulatory system. Open circulatory system means blood is pumped out from the heart into some cavities called sinuses clear if the blood is does not move through some particular vessels or specific vessels they are pumped out in a cavity body cavity called sinuses so this is called open circulatory system but in closed circulatory system blood never comes in direct contact with the body tissues clear it always moves through some vessels clear of various diameter it may be arteries it may be capillaries it may be veins by various vessels of various diameter and blood always remains confined within the vessels clear never comes directly in contact with the body tissues so this type of system is called circulatory system is called closed circulatory system you can find this open circulatory system in arthropoda clear and the closed circulatory system obviously the higher organisms all cortex and all they have all closed circulatory system another important feature is the segmentation clear the body is divided into various segments these we find in mainly in three groups, that is Arthropoda, Annelida and Cordids. Except this, in animal kingdom, we don't find such proper segmentation. So Arthropoda, Annelida and Cordids, there we find segmentation. In Annelida, there is two segmentation where the external segmentation coincides with the internal segmentation so body is externally and internally segmented and few organs are there which are repeating in series in each segment clear some organs are there which are repeating in each segments in a series so this type of segments clear are called metamere so this type of segments when the external segmentation and internal segmentation is there with uh, repetition of certain organs in each segment we call it metamere which we find in annelida clear and this type of segmentation is called metameric segmentation now in arthropoda the segmentation is from external segmentation clear we find external segmentation in arthropoda and in cordates we find internal segmentation which may be the segment, body segmentation is formed internally, which may be by the weaves, by the vertebrates, by the blood vessels, by the nerves. So there, the body is internally segmented by various uh, structures. Clear? So this we find in the cordage. So segmentation, there is in uh, annelida we find both external and internal segmentation with repetition of various organs. Clear in each segment, 
in arthropoda we find external segmentation only and in annelida uh, sorry chordates we find the internal segmentation by various structures like these vertebrate well column the these blood vessels nerves etc now another one is the body symmetry clear another one is the body symmetry that means how this parts clear that is the similarity in the body parts clear in opposite sides clear in a three dimensional configuration now according to the body symmetry so similarity in the body organization in two opposite sides clear that forms the body symmetry now they may be asymmetrical that means there is no symmetry clear when we cut the organism at any plane which is moving through the central axis clear the any plane moving through the center of the organism clear if we cut that organism through any plane moving through the center passing through the center of the organism we don't find any similar halves so that is called asymmetric which we find in the kingdom uh, phylum porifera or the sponges clear there is you can see here due to their various branching clear they don't form any proper symmetrical structure they are variously they are variously branched and that prevent them forming proper symmetrical structure next is the symmetry that means when you cut the body in a plane which is passing through the center in one or more plane we will find equal halves so if we cut the body through a plane which is passing from the center at least in one or more plane we will find the equal halves then we call the body to be symmetrical now this symmetrical may be symmetrical body may be of two types clear that means radially symmetrical and bilaterally symmetrical when we call it radially symmetrical when we can cut the plane uh, with we can cut this uh, body clear through any plane passing through the center into equal halves so we can cut the body through any plane passing through the center into equal halves so that is called radially symmetrical which we find in selenotrata tinophora then echinodermata these are the phylum where we find this radial symmetry clear this radial symmetry we find in this groups of organism now bilateral symmetry that this radial symmetry helps the organism to detect the food as well as the enemy from all spheres clear they can detect the food as well as enemy from the all spheres now when they sesile like in cell and traits it helps to get the food from all surrounding and in bilateral symmetry we can see here we can cut the body into equal halves when this in only in one plane when it's passing through the center so when it's passing through the center only one plane can cut the body into two equal halves clear so that is called bilateral symmetrical and that we find in the various like arthropods chordates clear all there we find this bilateral symmetry now bilateral symmetry in bilateral symmetry most of the sense organs or specific specialized organs are present in pairs clear present in pairs and concentrated on both sides clear in head and tail on both sides in head and tail and helps to identify the food enemy whatever coming from the both sides clear so this we find in various arthropods and this asymmetrical body is commonly found in the porifera phylum porifera from this consists the asymmetrical body and that is due to various pattern of branching so asymmetrical radially symmetrical and bilaterally symmetrical these are the three basic type of body 
organisms clear of the uh, or, um, body of the organisms due on the basis of the symmetry